Hey guys, what's up? It's I Can Fly Jake, and today I'm here to discuss the inevitable release of Daisy Standalone coming out December 13th. Uh, that is two days away from when I'm recording this, probably freaking one day away technically from when you're watching this. Um, and there's not a whole lot to say except my raw thoughts on it. Uh, they released a teaser trailer for it, which was decent. It got some hate, but I mean, it's supposedly just a teaser trailer, and hopefully there's more of a launch trailer. If not, then yeah, it's pretty crappy, but for a teaser, not bad. I'm going to go ahead and let us all watch it now. Peggy 18. Okay, so that was that. I mean, let's discuss it for a little bit here. I mean, it starts out with a guy with a map, which does display a new feature of how the maps work. Personally, I like the maps quite a bit. One of my good friends didn't like them so much. Um, I, I agree they could be better. His idea was to kind of have it work like the Minecraft map, um, which I think is a really good idea. I just think that it's a lot. It is a lot to expect to go from the kind of crappy maps we had before to a map that's like live working like the Minecraft map does. To be fair, hey, it's a, big, it's a game studio that could probably do this, but maybe one day we'll get that. Who knows? Um, but for now, not bad, and I kind of like it anyways. Um, then there's a shot of zombies in a cemetery. One of the only real good, well, I don't know, it's one of the only good shots that shows just how vast the amount of zombies should be. Um, the rest of the shots are kind of, I, I don't know, you, you saw them as you watched. Um, we got a shot of the guy driving away, and of course the cars that are newly reworked um, and work pretty good. Um, at least, I say actually, they work very good, they just have a few bugs, and hopefully those are ironed out by the next two days. Um, I have actually not been playing Daisy a lot, just because I knew this game was coming out so soon, that in the past week or two weeks, along with having a ton of finals, which is why I've not been, or not a ton of finals, a ton of tests and finals, um, that's been why I haven't been uploading a whole lot. I've just been sort of waiting for this release to play it, and give everybody kind of my raw thoughts on how good the game feels, because I plan on doing some videos, of course, revolving around that. Um, as long as, as long as, you know, Christmas break is coming up. So we got a shot of, you know, a jump, a jammed gun. He can't shoot the zombie, gets a hit on him. He unjams the gun. He's able to shoot the zombie. Cool stuff. And then you got a little PVP clip here, which ends off and you're like, oh, is he going to shoot him? And of course he's going to shoot him, but we don't know. We don't know. You have to wait till 1.0 launches to find out. Um, cause obviously then for some reason you'll find out and you can make a story of your own. Uh, anyways, so that was the trailer, decent, like I said, kind of bad as well, in the sense of if it's a full trailer, pretty bad trailer, it's super short, and they've done better. In fact, the Xbox release trailer, which I should have playing in the background, um, just for some footage, it was a pretty decent trailer, actually, it was really good, in my opinion, um, so that's that. Anyways, I wanted to kind of just sit and chat with you guys about this release, because I'm sure you guys have a lot of your own thoughts, too, on the release. Some people are excited and just don't really care whether they call it 1.0 call it 0.64 they don't really care because either way um, it's not like it speeds the game up and that's true and if you guys have some big thoughts on the game go ahead and leave them now in the comment section down below I plan on reading um, at least for the next few days if not weeks every single comment on this video and in fact there's a good chance I respond to it and like it so go ahead and leave a comment about what you're thinking about this upcoming Daisy release and, of course, I will read it and probably respond or leave a like or something like that. And so, anyways, I just want to hear you guys' thoughts on that. Um, but I want to sit and talk about mine as well because, for some reason, thousands of you guys have decided to subscribe to me and listen to my thoughts, which is pretty ridiculous, but we're going to do it anyways. Um, I've talked about it before quite extensively, so I won't go into a ton of specifics. Um, but I actually have quite the problem with the amount of content that's being left out of the game. Um, now, the Daisy Dev team is very particular with saying, is there being content left out of the game or is there features left out of the game? Um, and the true answer is both, but really the biggest, the biggest gripe is the content, because the features being left out, like, they're not that big, in my opinion, if you're releasing a 1.0 game, you kind of need all your features, uh, but in their opinion, if they're cutting out just one to three features, um, and that, that lets them release the game by the end of 2018, that's a success in their eyes, um, but the problem is it's not just one to three features, it's not like they're just cutting out the fishing, the bows, and I don't, I'm trying to remember whatever else has been cut that's been a feature. Um, but those things that have been cut, it's not like they're the only things missing. You have a bunch of content. And, and to me, the one of the biggest thing is the lack of guns. Um, I believe this little... this I want, I want to make a comment in praise of the dev team real quick. But th this little push to get it out 1.0 by the end of 2018 has produced a very polished game in a short amount of time. 
Now, that doesn't mean the game, or well, a, a way more polished game. Let me say it like that. The game isn't very polished, but it's way more polished than it was a month ago. Uh, and I am glad about that, but I really just still don't feel like it's ready. Like I said, when 1.0 comes out, maybe they've got some tricks up their sleeve. Maybe more of it's ready than we think. Um, and I will be playing it for like a certain amount of time and then giving sort of like a, another raw thoughts video on whether I think it's worth it, worth calling 1.0 in terms of polishness. So that's that. But like I said, they're leaving out a good amount of content. So the differentiation is content is more like it's an addition to a feature. So we already have the feature of guns, automatic guns, pistols, semi-automatic guns, snipers. We have that feature in the game. Um, but like while we only have the Mosin and SVD, we're missing other content like the Winchester or the SKS, which is a classic Daisy gun. In fact, I think delaying the game by a week just to get the SKS in the game would be worth it, in my opinion. Um, which some people then would comment back and say, well, why not just have the SKS come out as DLC in a week? And it's like, that's fine. Um, but when you see Shroud and Summit 1G and Anthony Kong, Kong fam, whatever, however you pronounce that, hopping on DayZ to try this game out, and they're going to be like, where's my SKS? Where's my, you know, Winchester? Yo, where's my, I'm trying to think what else is going on, AUG. There's so many guns missing. I just said that with a really weird accent. So, uh, but there's, there really is so many guns missing. There, there's more missing than there are in the game, for sure, including classics, like I said, like the SKS, the Mos or not the Mosin, um, the, uh, golly, the Magnum, starts with an M, Clo close enough, right? Um, and just tons, there's tons, there's a list you can find on Reddit if you really want to find it. Like, there's a list of so many guns missing, I can't believe it. Um, so, it's just, it's pretty ridiculous, and it's not like they don't plan on adding these. Like, they, and it's not like them delaying the game speeds this edition of these features or content back up. It's just that I don't think it's worthy of calling this game 1.0, and we've already all waited five years. Like, let's delay it another month or two, or three, or even four We've already waited so many years, and if your game is so good to call 1.0, then people can enjoy the game until it's released. It makes no difference. They can still enjoy it right now. So those, that's my opinion on it. So you might disagree. You might completely agree. That's awesome. You've probably heard this a million times. I don't mean to be repetitive. It's just that with this news of it coming out, you know, I feel like I should make a video about it and talk about the fact that it is coming out in two days, so that way you guys are aware of it and you can start to think about buying it or think about telling your friends or think about not telling your friends or not buying it based on what I say because I have some sort of responsibility or weigh on some people's thoughts on that and I don't want to be leaning one way or the other too much because I really think it's a personal opinion in fact my little brother has been heavily considering buying the game and I've been weary to even suggest him to get it in fact I've been very careful to be like uh, if you get it like you should probably play it online first or you know watch some of my videos ha 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 but yeah it's just it's kind of silly I really think the base game is still really good like don't get me wrong it's none of that it's the the big controversy here is just launching this game December 13th as 1.0 on what doesn't feel like a game that has more features than it did or content when it was in 0.62 over a year ago. So that's kind of, you know, that that's the beef of it. And I really think that, you know, a lot of people, um, of course, have some heated opinions on the matter. Okay, and I wanted to take a moment to look at the Daisy subreddit where most of the action of discussing this game goes on here in probably Twitter, um, along with maybe Facebook, but I don't really ever check there and I don't think much goes on there. Anyways, so, we see here this title called, We Should All Start Calling the Next Update 0.64, as it doesn't deserve the quote-unquote 1.0 title. Um, yeah, quote-unquote 1.0, because the next update is 0.64, right? Um, so, here's what the content says. It says, as all of you have seen, we've been getting a very, really bare-bones 1.0 release, which doesn't even, ha doesn't even have persistence fixed, which is like the core feature of a game like DayZ. And let me scroll down real quick here. You guys see this? Persistence equals DayZ. It's very true. This is, this is so true. If you aren't able to store things and permanently keep things stored, it's, it's not, it's not really a, there's not a whole lot of end game to this game that doesn't really have an end game, but that's one of the things that makes, that gives you some sort of goal. This post has 539 upvotes. 540. Let's make it 540, right? Um, so since the devs have decided, decided to release the game as an Xmas cash grab, which I don't really agree with that necessarily. I think part of it is the fact that they really just said it'd be out 2018. And they go on sort of a week-long winter break, so they just need to get it out. I don't... If they're going to get it out in 2018, like, I understand them doing it December 13th. I don't have a problem with that. It's just a matter of them trying to do it in 2018 in general is a little ridiculous, in my opinion. Um, anyways, but this guy's pitching that the next update we should all just call 0.64, which it is, right? Um, be it in new videos, social media, etc. Which, I mean... And then he's like, we should just act like we don't know about any 1.0 update, which is a funny idea... Don't really know if I am going to be doing this. In fact, I'm not going to be doing this, but I think it's hilarious. And I totally support anybody doing it. Very funny, but just just 540 people on a quite inactive subreddit is a lot. That's a lot of upvotes on something like this. It's pretty dang negative. 
Uh, there's a guy, not, you know, about 100 upvotes here. Persistence equals Daisy. Very true. 1.0, the real Daisy apocalypse, with just tons of these comments of just people mad. Um, I don't know. It's, it's pretty silly. Uh, it, there's a tweet here, and this tweet here, you can go to my Twitter, which is at IcanFlyJake. Humble, humble, you know, plug there. Um, they tweeted, there's somebody tweeted them asking about the 1.0 release regarding persistence, because there's a bug with persistence right now in the game. And the Daisy Twitter, Twitter team, or the dev team responded, we are very aware of this problem, and solving this issue is our highest priority. Okay, cool. Like, good. It's, it's your highest priority, right? Sadly, the release of the game has been set, and despite our best efforts, the solution will not be ready by then. And this is just absolutely unbelievable. Um, I don't really know what to say about this. This was tweeted back in, it looks like October, though, um, which is interesting, because I believe the persistence works to some extent. Uh, that was 10, 12, 2018. You know what? That might just be Twitter. I bet that was December 10th. No, I'm stupid. Uh, Twitter just on this person's thing has a date swapped. In the United States, we have the date swapped. So no, that was December 10th. So yeah, um, there still is this persistence bug in the game. And they are even saying themselves, sadly, the release has been set. Sadly, the release has been set. They, they've acted hyped about this release and proud of this release. And they're saying, sadly, it's been set. Well, gosh dang it. No, it's not. Sadly, it's been set. If you didn't know, you have the control to swap this release date. You'd probably anger quite a few people, but I'm telling you one thing. You're you're hurting yourself more by releasing it now than by delaying it for, for certain features like this persistence thing. Like, delay it a month. Work on persistence. And in the process, you'll get four guns added to the game and maybe a few more other features or content. Like, there's so much you could do when you delay this one part. You don't have to put your whole team on it, obviously. I'm not a game dev lead person or anything, but just clearly they can they can do these sorts of things Um while working on other content. That's been something they say too. Uh, so yeah, there's the tweet right here, um, officially from them. We are, we are very aware of that and solving the issue is like, you know, they're very aware. It's a big problem. They, they agree. It's a big problem. It's the highest priority and it won't be ready by the release. Like it's just, it's just super dang silly. Um, it's just silly. Like there's not much else to say about it. And this one has 250 upvotes. So it's, it's not even a clickbait title. You got a title like regarding persistent wipes 1.0. It's not good news. You know, everyone's seen these titles. They're not clicking on it. And yet this post still gets almost 250 upvotes because there's that many concerned folk out there that love this game and want to see it succeed. Again, none of this is to say the game is dead or anything like that. If anything, really, all this all this engagement really shows just how many people are coming together to care about how crappy this release um, this release is set up to be. Um, I just really wish they'd call it 0.64, have a bunch of people come try out the new 0.64, look what 1.0 is going to feel like, now we're going to spend a few months adding a bunch of content back to the game. Cool beans, we'd all love it, like no, like you can't be mad about it because it's just the exact same thing as 1.0, just not called 1.0, like I just, I don't know, pretty silly stuff, um, I, I'm, I'm getting passionate about it because I am, I'm passionate about this game, I love this game, um, and at the root of it, we all love this game, I think most of us anyways, and that's why we care so much, so I think let's all try to not forget that. And still enjoy this stuff um, to the best of our ability. And don't forget also that the dev team, like they're getting a lot of hate. I want to say this too. Um, they know, they know that these issues, these choices they're making are controversial. And like I've said, I'm very passionate about disagreeing with how they're handling it. But they do believe that they are doing the right thing, or enough people high up in their company slash team think they're doing the right thing. So it's some of them, it's not in their control. Some of them, it is, and some of them that are making the decisions, they genuinely, from the bottom of their heart, believe it to be the right decision. Um, they aren't doing it as a cash grab, and they're not doing it to purposely screw this game over. They might think it's best for the game, and in the end, I mean, there's a small chance they know better than us, so we will see. Um, I doubt it, but hey, they they, are, they mean well. It's kind of like with politics. We disagree with each other, but at the end of the day, you really have to know that everybody means well, um, and I'm not trying to make this political, but that's that. Anyways, guys, like I said, I want to hear your thoughts. If you made it through the end of the video, I really appreciate you guys hanging around. I know there's not a bunch of you that actually watch all the way to the end of one of these 14-minute commentaries. Um, but I just want to say I appreciate you, specifically the viewer. You guys keep this channel running, and I really love you guys so freaking much. So drop a like if you liked the video, and just let me know who made it to the end of this video. Uh, so that's that. Subscribe if you're not already, and I hope to see all of you guys in my next Daisy video.